wait for the roar. Well, skippers away not too quickly, but it's not long before she gets those long legs moving, and now she's really starting to move away from the entire field. Asher Phillip in second, but there's no doubt who the winner is. Skippers, unofficially 10.98. That's a magnificent run in these conditions, and it into a 1.0 meters per second headwind. Well, she delivered. And I can tell you, the town's been rounded down to 10.96. What a magnificent run in her first appearance at these championships. Well, this is what the crowd came to see, and she delighted them all with that outstanding run. As always, a slightly sluggish start, but once she gets moving, it's very, very difficult to overhaul her. Philip was on her shoulder for about 30 meters, and then just look at that. In the space of 20 meters, she just moved away. And what a yawning distance between her and Asher Philip. Magnificent sprinting. I mean, really pulling away, as you said, over the last uh, half of the race. And there's the confirmation that Philip and Haas are behind her. moment the Dutch crowd have been so eagerly awaiting and it's absolute hush in the stadium now. Ogremniak, Grafua, Kambunji, Henry, Lalova Kalio, Skippers, Pinto, Philip. Off they go. Skippers a little behind that of Collio, but look at her coming into her running now. This is Daphne Skippers. This is Daphne Skippers for goal. It's very close indeed behind her. I think uh, just behind her, that of Collio may have got the silver. But a wonderful run in these conditions. 10.91, minus 0.2, but it's quite cold. And Daphne Skippers fully living up to expectations by running clear of the field in the European 100 metre championships. She's retained her title. It's gold for the Netherlands and gold here in Amsterdam. And they're standing on their feet all round here, a sea of orange around us. Oh, what a fantastic run and that's a fantastic time. 10.90 on a chilly evening here in Amsterdam. It's getting on for 10 o'clock at night here in Amsterdam. And what a magnificent performance though from Skippers. She fulfilled everybody's expectations as we see this replay just tearing away from the rest of the field in the second half of the race nobody could respond to that surge confirmation there as you can see on the photo finish 10.90 for shippers Lalova Coleo three tenths further back Daphne Skippers takes the gold medal in the women's 100 metres in 10.90. Yvette Kalova Collio takes the silver. And Mujinga Kambunji moves up a place to take the bronze. Poland, France, Switzerland, Germany, Great Britain, Italy, Netherlands and Ukraine have qualified for this final. 4 by 100 meters women's final. Poland and Great Britain favourites, but how can the Dutch get on, particularly with skippers? Who were just waiting there oh, to run the second leg. Poland, France, Switzerland, Germany, Britain, Italy, Netherlands, Ukraine.
Germany in four, Britain in five, Netherlands out in seven. A good start for uh, Britain out there in lane five. Asha Philip will hand over to Asha Smith and she'll be up against Daphne Skippers. Skippers going way out there, but it's also the British, I think, still in the lead. Dina Asha Smith will hand over to Bianca Williams. Terrific leg, of course, by Skippers, as one might expect. And the Germans going well. The British, the Dutch and the Germans, the favourites, are clearly the first three in this race. And who will hand over first? It's pretty close, the Dutch on the outside. The Germans and the British, but what a run by the Dutch team. Tremendous roars. They've been run down by the others, but Sydney is going to hold on. And in fact, the Dutch win by a clear margin. With Britain second and Pinto third. And their national record has just been obliterated with a time of 42.05 for the Netherlands. The greatest run by a Dutch sprint relay team since the days of Fanny Blankers Kern. The national record was 42.32, and they have annihilated that. We'll just wait for the official time to come through. I think it has. 42.04. What a leg. Inspired, of course, by Daphne Schippers. But didn't they all run well? Well, I think it's not just a triumph for Daphne Schippers. When you look at that team, they were well drilled. We're looking here at Janelle Samuel. Sydney, Van Schagen, terrific runs by all of them, motivated with the backing of the vast majority of these 17,000 crowd. It was a fantastic performance from the gun to the tape by all four women, not just the 100 metre champion. All credit to all four women in the Dutch side, and they ran superbly. The baton handling was terrific as well. That was an up, a lesson to every single team around Europe. Well, it's wonderful how well the Netherlands team are doing here in Amsterdam, led by the sprinters. Skippers has really inspired them. Here we go, this is Skippers on the second leg here. He'll hand over to Van Schagen. And then finally Sedney bringing them home at the end. And uh, at the one stage it looked like she was being run down a little bit, but she'd got such a lead and she ran so well. So here she goes, and there's no way that the British and the German teams could catch the flying Dutch woman. Aita just bringing Britain home, just ahead of the German team. But for the home fans, surely one of the great moments of these championships. The Netherlands taking the gold medal with 42.04, a national record. From Britain, 42.45. Germany, 42.48. Ukraine, 42.87.